out on the ball, but the ball goes out for a throw-in. And the Black Stars making it difficult for the Zambians to really come out. But let's see what this throw-in brings. Rabiu Mohamed. Koja Samoa. Rabiu Mohamed still trying to win the ball. And eventually it is a foul advantage Zambia. And Koja Samoa trying so hard to impose himself. And you were talking about the decongestion of the midfield as vitally important to Ghana's hopes of scoring again, Ben. Yeah, because it's making play difficult, especially for Warriors and Asamoa Jan to get the balls into a danger zone of the Zambians. And I'm sure that if Kuya Samoa and his teammates in the middle were able to move away a little bit and try and create more space for the flanks. So you have the likes of Andre Adeayu making sure that there's more ball you know, sent into the 18 yard box than what we really get in the middle. Well, Herbert Renard is frustrated because the Zambians couldn't uh, take advantage of what was actually going. And Foyo Tembo wasting a good ball. And Fatal Dauda gets to restart the match for the Black Stars. And Jan looking for Waris. And now, ball taken to Kennedy Mwini. Calmly does it. And the ball kicked inside, but uh, Rabiu does very well to win the ball. Jan, Basuzu beat him to it. Jonathan Mensah, well, the two central defenders have collided, and Zambia have an opportunity, well defended in the end by Affle. Rabiu also falls back. Boy, Wakaso tries to go past this man, and the ball goes out. It's going to be a throw to the Chipolo Polo. And Kauzu. Sinkala. He's trying to move on to the ball. And uh, many thanks for to, to most of you who sent feedback. And well, as an opportunity for the Zambians. But uh, Opari took advantage when he wasted too much time on the ball, the Zambian. And Ghana will get the ball away. But Kalaba. Find him Foyo. Foyo looking to cross the ball. Brilliant play, but the cross left a lot to be desired and it's cleared up. I was, I was saying thank you to the many people who have been sending me feedback. Yes, at times I felt I was screaming a little bit and I apologize for that because of the massive amount of noise we're having to deal with here. But many thanks for all of you. You know yourselves. You sent me feedback. Thank you so much. We're trying to do a, a good job for you all. But uh, the shot... Going off target, but look at that. Brilliant skill there by Fireben. Super sub for the Zambians, and he always does it for them. And the reason is that when he comes on, he brings a little back to the team. And that's the reason we have Renard brought him. He knew what he was going to do, and yet he proved to us the first minute he came on. One a, a corner kick for them, and then this one as well. Certainly, and then now, Asamoah looking to win that ball. Well, he, he manages to win it, but uh, the assistant referee signals that he illegally got hold of the ball. So Zambia get to kickstart things and trying to move things through. And it's clear that uh, a substitution is about to be made by Kwesiapia. And off camera, he's talking to the fourth official. Meanwhile, the Zambians looking to create an attack of sorts. Ball goes out for a throw in to Ghana. A parry. He's looking for a teammate to get the ball to. Trying to find Waris. And Asamoah can he latch onto this ball? Goes down, and the advantage is lost. Kondwani dealing with it, and a header to touch for a throw in. And Asamoah trying hard to win the ball, and Jonathan Mensah. Does very well to get the ball away. Sunzu, he's been my most impressive player for the Zambians, it has to be said. Very cool at the back, but uh, Ghana putting some good passes together. Koja Samoa, Rabiu Mohamed, Koja Samoa, would like to drive forward. Good ball to Jan, still has the ball. Finds Andre Ayu. Tries to drive forward, does very well. Decides to fire. Well, not a bad attempt. 
But I guess he probably had other options then. I think that I'm happy the Black Stars are trying to get themselves away from the midfield traffic. And for that matter, that is the only way they can get more chances at the moment. Especially so when you know that there are a lot of Zambian players who really want to protect the pack four and not really come forward. That is what you need to do. Tease them out and get a chance. And uh, looks like Michael Essien might be getting his chance pretty shortly. He takes off his bib. The Chelsea midfielder about to be brought on to mark his return to international football after an absence of over two years. And his experience will really, really benefit the Black Stars, no doubt. Ball goes out. It's going to be uh, a throw-in. And the Samoa Giant giving instructions there to his teammates. Good play there by the Zambians. And it's going to be a double chain. Christian Achu also about to be brought on. And looks like Kwesiapia is going for the juggler. But let's see what comes out of this uh, ball. Looks like it's a, uh, an offside decision given to the Black Stars, Ben. All right, so there's something missing about Michael Asian. He's not wearing his favorite number A jersey because when he was away, it was Achiman Bedu who was wearing the number A jersey. When he came back, he decided to go for John Mainz's jersey number. That is number five. And so he's not in a hurry to go back for his number A jersey. But when he came to uh, John Mainzer, and let's probably remember him for the good job he did for the Black Stars. And Chris Nachu is coming in to create some a bit of a, a circuit play for the Black Stars in this particular game as well. Well, as far as the jersey numbers are concerned, number five is the jersey Michael Essien wears at Chelsea. And a yellow card to Daniel Oparri for a rough challenge there. So he will feel comfortable and uh, Oparri will not be too happy with himself that he's gotten uh, himself into the book. Of course, Jamal Bermaidi, he is a disciplinary referee. And the substitution about to take place and Michael Essien about to enter the fray. And it is Rabiu Mohamed a like-for-like -like replacement, Ben. Well, Rabiu has not really been, been able to do the mopping-up job in this particular game, in my estimation. And that's the reason I'm sure the coach is taking him out, and Michael will be able to do that job, especially. And so, they've got a lot of experience there. And pretty shortly, we shall see the second substitution. I wonder who Achu is going to come in for. We'll find out in a bit. And it is Mubarak Wakaso also being taken off. I wonder what you make of this. Well, a bit surprising though, but I thought that Mubarak Wakaso just not been able to bring about the pace and the power that we expect from him. But what we need now is a holder who will be able to keep the ball moving and keep some space for us. Well, hang on. The Zambians attacking and Essien's first touch of the ball was to get it to Dauda. And Andre you has moved out to the left with Christian Achu attacking from the right. And Essien, of course, will sit in front of the back four. But the Zambian still attacking. And the Zambian still holding possession. And this is a shot! And Dauda took two chances to stop that shot, but he managed to save it anyway. Why do you create space and the Majid Warriors, I'm sure should be quick enough. But again, why would you create so much space for this guy just going for this shot? The Black Stars need to close them down whilst they move into the danger zone and not to allow them to create the chance that they did create. And this would have been dangerous for the Black Stars. And uh, this was uh, the tackle there on Warriors, which he complained about a bit. And Andrea Yu wins the ball. And Andrea Yu. Good one touch passing. And Andrea Yu will look to pass the ball. Leaves it back for Jan. And some more Jan. Well, the referee's not even remotely interested. That was a great challenge. And Katongo. Calabar looking for Foyer. Foyer moving forward. He's got the pace. Tries to go past his man. And uh, he couldn't do it effectively. It's a goal kick to the Black Stars. Chris, too many turns, too much turns for, for, for the Black Stars, especially when it comes to Samajan. Too many of it is not helping the Black Stars, and you should be knowing this at the moment. When you get to danger zone of your opponent, just get the ball and stop turning, because that is not helping. Well, at the moment, 
Fire, but John Boy trying to stop his man. Eventually gets the ball away. And Apple. Koja Samoa. Looking to pass the ball. Essien. Andre. And Andre again. Apple. Ghana looking to play the ball forward instead of backwards, but we're forced to take it back to Dauda. And uh, Daniel Apari. Ball kicked inside. Warris, well defended. And the referee spotted a foul. And so it's going to be a free kick to the Zambians. And we're approaching the hour mark, and it's still one goal to nil. A colleague of mine described off-air that uh, this is a strange sort of game, not really the sort of uh, fine football you want to see. Because there's so much at stake, nobody wants to really make a mistake. But Zambia fighting hard. And now, good play, Andre. Now Michael is in the bison. He's powerful enough, still holds on to the ball. Opari. But that's a poor pass. And now, this is Foyer. Foyer still has the ball. Calibre. Opari should win that ball. Achu. Achu losing out on that ball, but eventually it's cleared. Jan trying to win the header. And Kalaba. The ball back to uh, a goalkeeper, Mwini. It's that kind of game where you really can't put a good move because everybody is uh, tactically aware of what will happen next. So it's like the two teams cancelling each other out, Ben. That's exactly what you need to have, uh, Chris. Imagine there was no goal after this stage. I'm sure that is where most of the coaches would try to uh, throw caution to the wind and try and get a particular win. But the Black Stars, they know that a win, a draw will push them through. And now that they have the goal, they're not, they are not in a hurry to actually get the ball back in the net again. But the Zambians need to assure that at least they, they get something very, very much uh, important, and that's a win. Either way, you, you lose. Well, the best form of defense is to attack. No two ways about that. And uh, the best form of getting a draw is to actually try and win. And then the other options can be discussed later. That's a shot. Oh! What a goal! Koja Sabwa! Koja Sabwa has done it! What a hit! What a hit! What a strike! Fantastic goal! Koja Sabwa has done it! Right from the center bend. Top the shoes out. Fabulous goal! I'm shot for words. I don't know how to describe this goal, but that is a tender boat. And that is a mark of a precision. I mean, a, a player with a vision. What did he do? He realized that the Zambians were just caught out there. The goalkeeper was just helpless. Touch twice, and eventually he had to score. Brilliant goal, and there you have it. When he could not just read his mind, and how many players were out front of him? About five of them. Oh, oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Can I demonstrate and say that the Black Stars are almost there. Or should I say they are there? What a goal, what a hit. Mwini could do absolutely nothing about it. Superbly taken goal. And Ghana is a golf with a segment. And the Black Stars have not lost any game in Kumasi. Not for a long while. The last time they lost was 13 years ago against South Africa at a 2000 African Nations Cup, if I remember correctly. I could be mistaken though, but that's the last time I remember with, uh, Ghana losing a game. We're talking about recent times. Recent? I don't remember. I re anyway, Zambia now have to throw caution to the win. Two goals to nil. And now the battle to burn the face of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is nearly ended. I use the word nearly advisedly, Ben. <laughs> but Chris, I must give credit to the Zambians and again, the fact that They've been able to hold out the Black, Black Stars after this particular time. And one of our worries, or perhaps our thinking, was that they did not have the opportunity to come to Ghana as early as we expected them to train. 
And for that matter, we thought that they were going to be jet lagged for this game. But they're proving that they were a strong side. Well, the Black Stars looking to get the ball out, and this is Hassan Wajan holding on to the ball. He's worked ever so hard today. And for just someone losing the ball, but Essien wins it and takes it back. For just someone. Well, the Zambians still have it, and boy, using his strength, and already it's a foul advantage Ghana. And that touch end from Kusyapia. Michael Essien comes, pushes for just someone a little bit forward. Support Warriors and Asamoah Jan. And that was the reason it was too much free to go for that killer shot. That was what we were expecting for them, um, you know, Rafi Muhammad, but we never got that from him. But ACN has come to do that job. Well, they say class is permanent, isn't it? Class will always be permanent. Experience counts here. And Michael Essien in this day, one of the best midfield policemen in the world. Uh, when I say policeman, somebody protecting the back four, one of the best in the world. And well, just to enjoy the fans, enjoy themselves. And Essien still marking. He wins the ball back. Good play. But the Zambia is still fighting. And in Kauzu. And it's an opportunity for Zambia. And for Tao Dauda grabbed it again at the second attempt. Well, again, some lousy defensive play there from John Boy and Jonathan Mesa. You know, I asked Jonathan Mesa what happened to him. He said he lost his phone at the airport coming to Kumasi. And so he's lost contact with most of his colleagues. Communication is becoming a problem for him after losing that phone. I didn't expect sarcasm from you, Ben. But take a look at that. Just went past him, the shot came in, and for Tao Dauda grabbing that ball. But uh, I guess my, my colleague Ben Graham is feeling sarcastic and delighted. Hence those comments. But Ghana now playing. And this is a Trying to lead that ball. Because he's got it. Five of them. Wow. Confidence to certify from this place. blocking that ball, so there's going to be a free kick to Ghana. And with a scoreline 2-0, they say revenge is a dish best served cold. And it's a cold dish of revenge, and Apple looking to deepen that without the overlapping run. Andre Ayu. Andre, still trying to move forward, does very well. Andre Ayu, the cross comes in, the ball blocked. Michael Essien. Lisa for Apple. Cross coming in. Susan gets the ball away. Ball headed out. And Zambia still fighting hard. Oh, there, my boy. And it's a free kick given. And that was a playback of that particular free kick situation. And St. Carla is moving the ball forward. And um, it's an opportunity there. And it's Zambia, but uh, Fatal Dada grabbing that ball. And um, Andre Ayu. Koja Samoa, score of the second goal. Harrison Apple. 
Ball kicked inside, and this is Juarez. He's got the pace. Juarez sends that cross in. And Asamoja will grab it before it crosses the byline. Listen for Achu. Tries to beat his man, but that's success. And uh, that elicits a bit of a laugh from Ben. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, it was able to go through him, man. I mean, I would, have, I would have loved to see that, what he was going to do with that. But again, I think that there's, there's more space for the Black Stars to explore. And that is exactly the reason I said that Christian Pia is for some of the substitution because the Black Stars do have that opportunity to attack anytime they have the ball now. Well, Rinford Calabar still trying to uh, decide on another opportunity. And for Tao Dada, up to for safety first, punches the ball out. Fire. Fire again. Trying to cross. And boy sticking with him. And Kaosu. And Andrea Yu fighting hard to win the ball. And it is a goal kick. John Boy is uh, in pain a bit. He had to fight hard, and Andrea used to nasty, still showing through. But John Boy, a bit of concern for him. I hope he's all right. He's just come back from injury. Yeah, he was hit with the ball um, when he was trying to, his was trying to hit the ball into the AC as well. I'm sure he might have uh, picked it at the lower part of his body. And again, it's not going to be any serious injury to him. He's not going to come back. I hope so, but Rashid Sumaila has gotten up to uh, warm up. Presumably, John Boy might be taking off for Sumaila to come on in his place. And we are approaching the 70th minute mark, and the minister, well, not the minister, somebody else. And uh, could you ask someone enjoy himself after scoring what I could call a brilliant goal? And he's delighted. Born and bred in Kumasi, played for Astrofa Deportivo before he moved to Liberty Professionals, and now playing for one of the best teams in the world in Juventus. And um, Tenkala, Heavy Reynard, this is Jonathan Mensa, just marking and making sure that uh, the Zambians don't get a look in at the back for Ghana. And this is uh, Nkausu, who tries to cross the ball, but uh, Eskin is there to protect the back four, looking to drive a pass. And that's a lovely well, a little bit ahead of him, but uh, nonetheless, you can see what Eskin was trying to do. You talked about the class, which is permanent. But let me quickly say that I've not really enjoyed the passes from Daniel Parry at all. Most of his passes have not really gone into the target, and he just needs to sit back and rethink about what he does with the ball when he gets it. Well, we have to wait and see. Uh, what will actually happen with the remaining minutes there and Apple marking Foyer. Foyer is a powerful player using immense upper body strength to try and trouble Apple. Can he cross the ball inside? Well, it goes to the far side and a cross coming in yet again. And John Boy has the ball away. Essien continues the clearance, but the Zambia is still keeping them under, under the cosh. Excellent tackle by Apple. And some rear guard action from the Black Star. The Black Star could have avoided this particular ball in the 18-yard box. Asian's header was followed up with the players coming out of the 18-yard box again. I thought again that when the ball was sent in there, most of the players would have realized that this was a clearance and that followed it up. Well, let's see what this corner brings for the Zambians. And that's a great goal. That is a great goal. Nathan Sinkala has buried it to bring it to 2-1. Nathan Sincala scores, and it's now 2-1, a well-worked corner kick, and we have to say, we've got to credit the Zambians for the way they took this goal. I said something here. When the ball was clear, the Black Stars could have avoided this. What was that? Well, I mean, just realize the marking. It was just caught ball watching there, and he had to score. I mean, Chris, the point is, sometimes a momentary loss of concentration causes the Black Stars to get some, or perhaps to see some goals. And they need to be very careful on this one. They certainly need to be. And now, how will the Black Stars react? 
because the moment the Zambians level the scores, it will be a nerve-wracking end to this match. Asamoadjan is trying to be this man without success. And uh, Nkauzu, Calaba, Sinkala, the goal scorer. Sinkala again. Looking for Mayuka. Patao Dauda, Kujasamwa, is able to protect the ball and win a foul. And the free kick to be taken. And what it means is that Ghana cannot afford to relax. They need to go for another goal. Waris, wow. That is going to be a free kick. And that was uh, Souza this time. And Susan lands awkwardly, worries himself, a bit the worse for wear. And uh, as uh, both players receive attention, Benadish, you can tell us a bit about what you think about what has gone on so far in terms of uh, the uh, 73 and a half minutes we've seen so far, two goals to nil. Can we confidently say Ghana is there as far as qualification into the next zone is concerned? At the moment, the Zambians do have hope that they can come back strongly and maybe upset the Black Stars. But my disappointment has to do with the fact that when the corner was, was kicked, most of the players, I'm not too sure, knew that the referee had whistled. And for that matter, we're just standing there waiting for, to see the ball we called in. But that was a well, well worked on corner kick for the, Black, um, for the Zambians. But the funny thing here is that in the midfield, when Mike Leeson actually came on, you do have Kuriya Samoa now free enough to do what he has to do. Now he gets support from uh, the man known as uh, Achu. Now that's exactly what I was talking about about the corner. They could not even pull it out, but I'm sure that the Black Stars will be able to pick out the pieces. The stadium is even silent at the moment because the Zambia has got to go. Well, let's see what Achu can do with this ball as he holds up. And, and let's see what happens. And now, Opari. And this is Koja Samoa. He's been buoyed by that goal, make no mistake about that. And Jan, looking for Andrea Yu, but that ball went beyond him. And it's going to be a throw. Andrea winning that ball. It gets to Apple. Well, that was a poor pass, but Jonathan Mensah was wise to it. Gets it to a parry down the right. Koja Samoa. Decides to send the ball back and Essien. Koja Samoa. Looking for Andrea Yu. Lo lovely flick on, but uh, a bit too far ahead of Waris. But the idea was very, very good. And Essien again. And Andre. Referee says play on. Fire. Goes past his man. It's a comeback on the cards here for Zambia. Still has the ball. And it's going to be a, a foul. And a yellow card to Harrison Apple. And that's the second Ghanaian player to go in the book. The first was uh, Daniel Apari. So basically two fullbacks have gone into the book for the Black Stars. And uh, talk us through this action, Ben. Well, he kicked there the first time. Uh, the player was so strong. I'm telling Fayo was very strong to every play the advantage. But again, he was waiting personally for another tackle from Harrison Apple. And they go into the books. Now you have Chamanga in and Nikusu out. Again, the Zambians are throwing everything in to ensure that they get another goal. Because at the moment that I speak to you, Chris, the stadium is dead quiet. It is, and that's worrying. Because the Zambians, not, they don't need one goal. They need two goals to qualify. And they brought on all their arsenal. So we have to wait and see. And it's an opportunity now. And Chamanga is trying to hit the ball across. And it's going to be a goal kick for the Black Stars. And Kevin Prince Whiting and Adam Parase stroking their respective beards, if I could say so. Uh, it, it reminds me of Alexi Lalas. Remember him? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're still thinking what to do if they were playing. But, but Lalas has uh, removed the beard, by the way. Oh. It, it's looking very, much nicer now. But uh, not as nice. Uh, uh, that wasn't nice, that tackle. It's a free kick to the Zambians who are determined to set up a grandstand finish to this World Cup qualifying tie. Still have the ball at the moment. 
Ball floated in there, and uh, Andre Ayu wins the ball. And there's an opportunity. Andre Ayu still moving forward. Good tackle. Excellent tackle there on Andre Ayu in the end. And Afo kicks the ball out. But I have to say, I've been impressed by Stopila Suzu. I think he's been brilliant for the Zambians at the back. Doing his work as usual. But I thought that first two push from Andre Ayu should have really picked up a Samoa John who was just in, in front of the two defenders and not to really go and pick that the defender like trying to go solo. Well, SCM now picks the ball. It's brought down, it's gonna be a free kick. The referee was right there. It's gonna be a free kick. And Herbert Renard is not happy at all, as you can see. And uh, looks like another free kick and Ajiman Bedou might be brought on, the Udinese midfielder, to come and further show up things. SCM. Piece the ball inside and uh, Waris is brought down. It's going to be a free kick. It's a very nippy forward without a shadow of doubt. Does very, very well. And uh, it's going to be a free kick. And whatever else you might think of Waris, I think he's really justifying why he was picked for this encounter, Ben. And he's proved it beyond a reasonable doubt. So you can't take anything away from him. You certainly can't. And now let's see what this free kick will come up with. Now, Wakaso is no longer on the pitch. So someone else will have to take this uh, set piece. Will it be Achu or will it be Andre Ayu? And Koja Samoa is doing his best to free himself. Mwini is organizing the back four and waiting. And Ajima Beru might be brought on any moment from now. Meanwhile, let's see what this free kick brings. A ball was fed in. Apple. Andrea, you try to beat this man, he loses the ball. And it's a counter attack. But a parade as well. And it's going to be advantage the Black Stars. And Emmanuel Ajima Bedu about to be brought on. And a Samoa coming off. And looks like we're up here trying to close the game. And Michael Essien takes the captain Sam Bandy, the most experienced player out there on the pitch now. And a Samoa the captain, doesn't score, but he's worked very, very hard today. Well, it's proven beyond again, a reasonable doubt that he is one player you can rely on anytime you need him. And in this game, he's giving the Zambians some bit of pay, though. But let's give credit to Stupilo Sunzu. He's kept him out of bay, but Muaris was the man who emerged from no man's land to score for the Black Stars. And remember that Kojo Asama also followed it up when he was released to score. Well, let's see whether Ghana can get another goal to ensure that uh, qualification is sealed. As things stand now, Ghana are through to the next round of qualification against a yet-to-be-determined side. Make no mistake about that. Suzu. Lungu. Suzu again. Apple gets the ball away. And Ajima Beru winning it. He will be uh, relied upon to drive from midfield. Ball kicked inside and uh, Zambia still trying to keep possession. But Essien wins it back. Achu finds Essien, turns around beautifully, the Bison tries to go past another one, it's going to be a free kick, and Essien showing his class. I call him the gladiator, you can't push him down, you can't force him to fall, you just need to have about three or four players to hold him down and say you can't move again, and that's exactly what he's doing in midfield. And now Andre, and this is Koja Samoa, to Andre you needs to send it. A first time cross, what's he gonna do? Tries to go past this man. That's very well. And it's gonna be a corner kick. Almost beats this man. And a corner kick to the Black Stars. And Christian Achu will take this particular Corner kick, 
Now that Wakaso is up the field. Corner kick taken. Well defended. And Essien waited. Sends across inside. Well defended yet again. And Essien make sure that uh, the back door is still shut. And Ajima Bedou brought down. And Jonathan Mensah making sure that uh, Zambia don't make any further inroads up front. We're now in the final seven minutes of this game. Ghana 2, Zambia 1. Harrison Apple. Chamanga wins that ball, but uh, Boy gets the ball away. Waris. Couldn't get there on time. And Zambia still fighting hard. That's a lovely ball. The cross coming in. Afo. Katungo losing that ball to Koja Samoa. Andrea Yu. Koja Samoa. Well, there's a player injured. And so Koja Samoa sportingly kicks the ball out. I'm not sure he would have done that if the scores were 2 2. <laughs> I talked about it, fair play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, right. The, the players actually live up to their word, but that was the goal score by Sinkala, by the way. Well, I'm so disappointed again about the marking because at the end I said that the players were momentarily lost, lost concentration when the ball was kicked. And it was, for me, one of the easiest goals you can ever score. Let's look at that. The movement of the players again, there was no sense of urgency. Everybody just was, was just watching this ball, and you can't just expose the goalkeeper to that level. I'm thinking that the blacks have had a lot of opportunities here, but I'm saying this to butcher the point that if, if uh, Chris Yapia is trying to close the midfield, then I'm sure all we have to do is make sure we don't open the padlock at this moment. Uh, in fact, not just not open the padlock, but throw the keys away. <laughs> well, why are you going to throw it away too? Yeah, we just could pick it up and open it themselves. No, okay, throw it away where they can't see it. Anyway, Warren is talking to Andrea you over there as Ghana attempts to close out this World Cup qualifying tie. Apple. And Waris trying hard to create problems. Lungu. And now Katongo. And uh, that is a foul and uh, Apple has to be careful. That was Mayuka he was trying to mark. It's going to be a free kick. Well, some people will be saying that they trained on, 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 the, on asphalt and are playing like this. So what would have happened if they had trained before the match? But all that is irrelevant now. They are down by one goal to two. They need two goals to qualify for the next phase. But not if Ghana has anything to do with it. The free kick taken. Well headed out. Achu tries to win it. Ajima Bedou. Ajima Bedou racing forward. What can he do? And Ajima Bedou. And uh, a bit of uh, confusion there. Achu didn't communicate very well with Ajima Bedou. And uh, section of the executive committee members of the FA watching the action, but uh, Chamanga, Katongo, who look to shoot. And at uh, this time, Patao Dauda grabs it at the first time of asking. Waris was looking to flick it on and still fighting for the ball. The ball gotten out by Andrea Yu, who's had a good game, I have to say, the Olympic Marseille midfielder, Essien. Trying to find Waris. And Essien wins the ball back, does very well. Well, the referee said he, he took it illegally. I thought he took it all right, but uh, the referee had that, a different idea. So it's going to be a free kick. Lungu. And John Boy, anywhere we do at this stage. It's going to be a throw in and look at the fans waiting with anxiety written all over their faces, Sinkala. And there's a stop it and Suzu. Trying to uh, 
Pass the ball and fire back to Suzu. Trying to spark an attack at Chamanga. Is he free? But boy did very well, too strong, was powerful, and Chamanga didn't get the opportunity. Well, again, the Black Stars are trying to again uh, open up some space that they shouldn't because the Zambians want to take advantage of that. We've got just about three minutes to go, and they need to be very careful. And for the moment, Andre Ayu suffering a bit of an injury, and it will have to be seen to. And Michael Essien, and that's Kevin Prince watching a bit anxious, and he's wondering what is actually going on. And just below us, some fans throwing uh, water bottles, not the sort of things you want to see. And uh, the Zambian players, they battle very hard. And Andre Ayu is holding his rib. If you remember, he suffered an injury to his rib uh, whilst playing for Ghana and was out for some time. Let's hope this is not too serious. Well, he's going to go back on. And Parase uh, is also stroking his beard again. Uh, I know he's saying, come on, guys, just fight very hard and we get this game done. But the Zambians are really organized at the moment. They are in control in the last two or three minutes that we have got left. And the Black Stars are just giving too many passes away. And the Zambians could come strong if they have them. Well, let's see what happens with this particular opportunity. And the ball cleared out for a corner kick, but it could so easily have been a penalty, you know, because he got both the ball and the man at the same time. My worry is that the Black Stars are giving away too many opportunities to the Zambians. And they have to be very careful. The Zambians came with a plan, well executed. They've gotten a goal, it's 2 1. It's still a slim one, though. But don't forget that the Black Stars need to make sure that they seal it for everybody. Well, the Zambians trying to hit in a corner. It's another corner kick. And the corner kick taken again. And, and Jonathan Mensah heading the ball past his own goalkeeper. A cross coming in. And Dowder grabs it. Well, I think he suffered a bit of an injury there. Four minutes in at a time. Four nerve-wracking minutes. It is a grandstand finish we're seeing over here. Paris claiming that uh, it was deliberate. I don't know how you saw that. Well, I think it was a late kick from the Zambian player. Very late, because uh, Matal dropped the ball and could have been an advantage to him if he had scored, though. And unfortunately for Matal, the referee came to his... Uh, unfortunately for him, I must say, the referee came to date. Christian knows what he's up to. He's done his best, though. Bringing the ball, the stars that you expect. The Zambia says that the stars could not shine. But I'm sure they are shining at the moment. And so the fans have been urged on to keep supporting the Black Stars. And Maxwell Kunodu was the one who told the fans, just get up, don't sit down quietly, because the game is not done yet. There, there are more time for the Black Stars to go ahead and get a win. The Zambians are, are in control at the moment. Could be a deliberate move for the Black Stars, though. Let them have the ball. Let's defend very well. And when we have, on the, we have to get them on the break, go and get a third goal. Maybe that will be the instruction from the coaches. Well... And the law, Kwasiapia and Max Okonero have been talking to Abdul Majid Waris and uh, Fatah Dada seems okay. And he's wincing in a bit of pain, but he probably can continue for the final few minutes. He clearly is in some discomfort, but he will continue the match nonetheless. Kwasiapia with an expressionless look on his face, or you could say a look of worry, more or less. 
for his trusted goalkeeper. Yeah, definitely. And all the three substitutions have been made. Otherwise, they could have brought on Razak Braima. But uh, Patao Dada kicks the ball. Koja Samoa does very well to move forward. That's very well. Finds Andre Ayu. Apple. Looking to set a good pass. Finds SCM. SCM beats his man. Gets it back to Andre Ayu down the left. Looking to hold on to the ball. It's going to be a free kick advantage. Zambia. Hatongo winning the ball back. And a parry, that's very well to defend, and Andre, you gets it back to Koja Samoa. And this goal could prove to be the winner in this match, Koja Samoa. A parry. A poor pass. But Essien cuts it out, does very well, only to lose it again. And Kalaba. Lungu. And Lungu still fighting for it. And Apple, well, Apple was injured in trying to win that particular ball. Well, the game is still ongoing. The referee would have none of that. And I'm sure after this, the uh, Red Cross Ned will attend to him. But again, I think the Black Stars trying to close the game down and allow the Zambians to uh, dictate the pace. But that will be an interesting aspect for us to see what's going to happen in this game. But the Zambians know that they've got some seconds or some few minutes to go. And they just have to do everything in. And Harrison Apple on his feet. I think he got an accidental kick to his arm. Now the Zambians still fighting hard. Kalaba. Katungo. Ball kicked out. It's going to be a, a throw. A ball flicked. Good grab there by Patao Dada. Did very well to grab it. And it will waste a few seconds on the floor. What would you do if you were in his shoes? I'm sure you didn't waste more. <laughs> Definitely. And the referee has thrown the whistle. That is the end. Ghana are through to the final qualifying round for the 2014 World Cup. Even if they had to struggle a little bit in doing that, two goals to one for just someone the match winner with a superbly taking goal. Zambia is out. Sweet revenge after 21 years. Ghana has finally beaten Zambia in a competitive match after all that while. And of course, the fans will enjoy themselves and pretty surely we'll be going down to the boys at pitch side for the usual interviews. Michael Essien and uh, some of the other players taking hands with some of the players. And uh, this were some of the highlights of the match. Koja Samoa being brought down. And Opari is cross headed over by a Samojan. And this was the opening goal. John Boy flashing it forward and Waris heading the ball home for the opener. And the delight on his face said it all. Wakaso having a shot saved by Kennedy winning. And that's another shot at that. And the free kick by Wakaso fired off target. And a Samojan fighting so hard. Together with Stapila Suzu was one of the best players on the field today. 